Well, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to cover how to handle franchise fees. And it's for both QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online QBO. So in this video, I'm going to assume you paid $180,000 franchise fee. And so I'm going to show you how to record the purchase cost of $180,000 in QuickBooks. And also, I'll show you how to uh, record a monthly franchise fee uh, amortization. So I'm going to assume a 15 years amortization. So that's like 180 months. So let's get started. So now I'm going to first go to QuickBooks Desktop. And once you're done with QuickBooks Desktop, then I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online QBO. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Desktop now. So Desktop is right here. So this is QuickBooks Desktop. So for this to work, I'm going to open a couple of new accounts. Okay, so new accounts I'm going to open. First is intangible asset. I'm going to show you how I did it. So the intangible asset, that's going to be like your trading account, the parent account. And underneath, I'm going to create franchise fee cost. And I'm going to create another one to amortize the uh, franchise fee. And on the uh, PNL side, and I'm going to open franchise fees expense account. Okay, so first one I want to do is intangible asset. That's the one I just created. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, so account type you want to select is other asset. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you how to create other asset. So go to, I'm going to start again. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to company home page. Home page. So from here, as you can see here, chart of accounts is right here. Chart of accounts. Or go to list and chart of account. It will take you to the same place. Okay, I'm going to click it here. Okay, underneath, you will see new, right? New. Or if you have chart of accounts already listed, all we have to do is right click it and any place any line so just click new okay so in this case you want to select other account and after that you select other asset other asset okay so this is how you have to do it so this is the parent account for intangible asset okay so right here intangible asset and this is the one the head 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 home account and uh, parent account I mean uh, and then uh, you create the franchise fee cost you go through the same way chart of accounts and new other co account types and other asset and continue and then you create that uh, account okay so so you want to make this a sub account so you just select a sub account from the list like this just cl just click this and from the list just create uh, uh, here is your parent account just select this one so this is your um, sub account and same thing with this amortization of franchise fee. As you can see here, this is the account name and the sub account is from the list right here. All you have to do is select intangible asset. It's all other asset type. Remember that one. It's all three, same other asset type. And uh, uh, so don't put any opening balance, anything here. Uh, in here, don't put any, you know, you paid 180000 uh, in this example, so don't put anything in here. Uh, that will come later. Okay, so now we have uh, uh, four accounts. Here's your uh, parent account, two sub-accounts, and a franchise fees expense account, 
right here. So look for expense, just select expense. So select expense. So expenses right here, select expense and continue and then you create the franchise expense account. Okay, so I have four accounts. Now I'm gonna uh, write a check. To write a check, you go to banking, right? I'm gonna write a check for $180,000, write a check. Okay, so right here, I already wrote a check for $180,000 and it's select the bank account and then select your vendor, name of the, uh, your vendor. You have, if it's not on the list, you have to create it. Just add new. And account you want to select in this case is the intangible asset franchise fees at cost. See the other asset in here. So that's the one you want to select. Hundred eighty thousand dollars, right here. Okay, hundred eighty thousand. Other cost. All right. So, and then uh, um, you know if you're gonna print and have printed and write it. Check you know and write the check number. Uh, save. So this is the one I did. Okay. So you pay one hundred eighty thousand dollars. Now I'm gonna go to uh, amortization one. So at this point, if you look at your balance sheet, you should see like this. See uh, one hundred eighty thousand dollars franchise fee at cost, and your bank account went down. This is the balance sheet. The balance sheet, company financial, and the balance sheet right here, right? And so this one we haven't done it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so this is franchise fees that cost intangible asset, franchise fees underneath. Okay, now I'm gonna write a journal entry to amortize this one thousand dollars. The way I, you get one thousand dollars is hundred thousand dollars amortize over fifteen years. That's hundred eighty months. So that comes to one thousand a month. So I'm gonna show you how to write this amortization fees. Okay. So you need to write a journal entry. So just go to a uh, company and make journal entries right here, right? Okay, so right here, one thousand uh, dollars. Franchise fees is expense. Is expense account here expense, right? And amortization, it comes to other asset right here amortization. Okay, so once you just uh, save this, then you can memorize it. Just save it. Don't close it. Just uh, just write this, and don't save and close. Just save and new. Just type memorize, and then it will take you to uh, this memorize transaction screen, and just name something. You know, just like uh, uh, amortization, something like that, and then it will ask you how often, and it's monthly right and next one since already done july the next month's going to be august right august 1st and you want to automate things you don't want to do this manually uh one thousand dollars every month so the remaining would be 179 right because we already wrote july so 179 and save it okay let's say okay and i've already done this to list to see it you can see it here, memorize transaction list right here. Memorize transaction list under list. Memorize transaction list right here. See franchise fee amortization journal entry. And if you want to look at it, you know you can edit in here. As you can see here, set up this way, right? Okay. So now, uh, you know, if you look at the balance sheet, now we already went through. The balance sheet right, right here, see right here, right? One thousand dollars. So next month you will see, uh, you know, another one thousand. So that's the cumulative would be two thousand dollars, right? Okay. And for some reason, if you don't like, if you want to see this one, uh, franchise fee cost on top, uh, and amortization underneath, then you just go to charitable accounts and see this a gold thing. Just move it, gold sign. Just move it up. Or you know move the or you know this you can move the other one down too. So right here, this is how you have to do it. And now if you go to balance sheet, the same one, just refresh it, and now see this is on top. Okay, so that's pretty 
the standard, right? And uh, so next move on to uh, QuickBooks Online now. So I'm on QuickBooks Online. It's the same process, okay? So first create chart of accounts for those four accounts, right? Four accounts right here. So to go to chart of accounts from here, it's right here, chart of accounts right here. Uh, it's in, on some you may have on the transactions. You can go to chart of accounts from here, right? Or from upper gear, under your company settings, chart of accounts is right here too, okay? So chart of accounts, same thing. You need to open uh, four accounts right here. First one is intangible asset. Okay, so the category type from the list is other asset and detail type is licenses and the name you want to call is intangible asset. This is uh, your parent account, okay? And the other ones, or the two would be like a sub account of this. Okay, so it's chart of accounts, chart of accounts right here, right? Chart of accounts. And you want to select new, upper new, upper uh, top corner here. And then underneath you see other asset. Other assets right here. And you select this one and just change this to uh, whatever name you want. And uh, uh, right there. Okay, same thing with the other one. Okay, so right here edit other asset licenses franchise fee at cost and the sub account of intangible asset that's from the list right here and uh, uh, don't put anything in, in a balance this one is showing because I already recorded this 180 uh, uh, transaction uh, the purchase cost okay so when you create new one uh, don't put anything in there Other assets, licenses, just change it. Don't do anything in here. You, you can just change the as of date, or you can just put zero, doesn't matter. Uh, okay, and the next one is the uh, uh, amortization of franchise fees. Same thing. Right here, other asset, and select this one and just change the name and make this a sub account of intangible asset. Uh, same thing balance there's nothing there don't don't enter balance there it comes from uh, actual transaction okay once it's done then uh, you're ready to write a check see right here check for uh, age of vendor uh, select your bank account right let's say you want to select uh, uh, another bank account right here okay uh, bank account right here and uh, this is the franchise fee cost. It comes from here. See right here. This is the one. Intangible asset underneath other asset. Uh, it's blocked here, but this is part of other asset type. That one, right? And the amount. Okay. And if you have some documents uh, do that you want to attach, you can just attach it here. Just click this one and it will take you to your website or you can just drag and drop in here so everything in one place it's a good idea okay i'm going to save this save this okay so once it's done then you can write a journal entry there's a journal entry there's a journal entry so i'm going to show you how to write a journal entry first to write a journal entry from here, you go to uh, home page, screen, other, and zone entry, right? Okay, I'll reward zone entry, so it's $1,000. See right here, $1,000. So the franchise fee expense is $1,000. This is for the first month. This is for July. Franchise fee expense, $1,000. And the credit, this is the debit side. And the other one, is the amortization type 
which is comes this comes from your balance sheet account, intangible asset, franchise fee, one thousand. Okay, so it's basically to get one thousand, it's uh, manual. You have to enter one thousand in here. Uh, so it's hundred eighty thousand dollars divided by one eighty. So one eighty is uh, uh, over fifteen years. So one thousand and one, you can put the name of your uh, vendor. You know. Uh, Enter name in here. Okay, so this is how I got that one. And then once you've done it, then you can click this once you save it. In this case, you have to save it. Uh, and then you can uh, create a uh, recording transaction for the remaining one seventy nine months. Oh, it's already done this one. So let's go to another one. So this one is right here. Right here. This is the one. Okay, so franchise, you know, just create a template name. Uh, you know, you can put the vendor's name or whatever uh, it is to remember. And then uh, you want to make sure it's uh, scheduled. You know, it's a reminder, not going to post it. So the scheduled one. So type the schedule. Uh, reminder is to remind you. And in here, start date is uh, next month. August because we already are already zone entry for this in July first and then and in here after so when it's gonna end so after 179 uh, posting all right so just save save that template now if you want to go to look at the template it's right here it will tell you uh, you know everything every month right and you can look at it here uh, so so basically just to look at this transaction for recurring transaction from your home page home page you go to upper right corner company gear and recurring transactions is right here this is where you uh, you will see your list right here this is the one and if you want to change anything edit then you can change it here you know uh, or if you want to delete, you can just delete in here. Do delete, right? Okay. So, uh, so that's that's all about this uh, uh, handling franchise fees. Okay. So uh, you know, visit our website. We have two great websites. Okay, newqbo.com. That's for QBO, QuickBooks Online. Newqbo.com for QuickBooks Online, and newquickbooks.com. That's that's for desktop version. We are up to date. So, you know, just check it out. Thank you for watching. Bye.